a box of socks. Little Lionel loved to watch Granny Mutton knit clickety click went her needles. Granny knitted earmuffs and jackets and soft cozy cushions. What's in your box, Granny? Is it for me? Little Lionel asked. Wait and see, Granny Mutton said. But Little Lionel didn't want to wait. What's in the box? Can I wear it on my head? Or can I cuddle it at night? Granny laughed. You can wear these on your head, but they will keep your friends warm. Granny laid out a row of socks for horse. Duck, dog and mouse. Great socks, Granny, Lionel said. He wished he had some too. He put labels on the socks and put them back in the box. Lionel carried Granny's box a long, 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 long way. Suddenly, Rocky the sheepdog zoomed by. Little Lionel jumped. Ping! The lid flew off the box. Whoosh! Socks and labels flew out. Little Lionel picked them up. Oh, mm. Rocky, now I don't know which labels go with which socks. Lionel gave Rainy a pair of tiny spotish socks. Nay, these are mine, she said. Pipsqueak ran inside a purple stripy sock. Should songs be these long? He asked. Deeper had four socks, but only two feet. Perhaps one is for your beak, little Lionel said. Hmm. Deeper shook her head. Rocky's socks were too big for his paws. He couldn't steer his cart. Splat! He fell out. Swap socks, everyone, little Lionel said. Grab a sock and try it on. If it's wrong, pass it on. Whee! Socks flew across the farmyard. Whiz! Pip squeak found a sock in the carrots. He put it on. It was just right. Lionel pinned a sock at Rocky. Whoosh! Rocky said. This sock fits. It must be for me. At last, everyone sucks for the right size. The animals marched to Granny Martin's house. Great socks, Granny. Look, little Lionel said. Granny Martin smiled. These are for you, Lionel. She gave Lionel some sparkly red socks. They were soft and cozy. And they were made with love.